This is Sayami Eccles Irwin from FilmFestivalCircuit.com and the production manager of the Oregon Documentary Film Festival. Today I'll be sharing a quick preview of the film It Started With The Heart, directed by Kenneth Haidt from Florida. Here's the synopsis. Christophe Le Fontant was born healthy and had no childhood illnesses, but at age six he had a near-death experience due to heart failure. A life-saving pacemaker was implanted, and he was diagnosed with a cardiomyopathy of uncertain etiology. In his junior year of high school, he was faced with severe deterioration of his heart and received his first heart transplant in March of 2000. Despite complications after surgery and several readmissions, he graduated with honors and was admitted to Columbia University in 2001. In 2004, he faced rejection of his first donor heart, and after eight months in the intensive care unit, he received his second heart transplant. In 2010, he developed generalized weakness, followed by respiratory failure with multiple intubations and ventilator support. After an extensive workup, he was diagnosed with a rare disease, myofibrillar myopathy, caused by a genetic mutation. He needed a tracheostomy and continued respiratory support and required several months of intensive rehabilitation and physical therapy. To this day, Christoph continues to overcome his struggles due in part to his faith, optimism, and support of his loving family and a wide circle of friends. He self-published his autobiography, One Man, Three Hearts, Nine Lives, in November of 2015 and is on a mission to spread awareness of this very rare disease. Here's the director's statement. It started with The Heart is the true life story of Christophe La Fontaine, a man who has endured numerous tragic events throughout his life, but has overcome all of it and is happier today than he has ever been before. His story is an inspiration for anyone, but especially those who are dealing with medical issues, sexual identity issues, drug issues, or family issues. Working with Christoph has been awe-inspiring, and everyone involved with making the documentary hopes that as many people can see the film, get to know his life story, and come away feeling positively changed. We are looking forward to the audience reaction to this film. Our winter 2022 event is rapidly approaching on January 22nd at the Sunshine Mill Drive-In Theater in the Dallas. Are you planning to bring a carload of friends this year? To find out more about the films and get tickets, use the link in the description. See you soon! Do you want your film, video, or screenplay to get selected to more film festival events? Hi, my name is Michael Fair, and I've been a film festival director since 2008. Currently, my company, Film Festival Circuit, manages 10 different film festivals in the United States. Our team watches hundreds of films every month, and we see missed opportunities, mistakes, and missing information on submission forms every day from filmmakers and screenwriters. Would you like to avoid common, costly mistakes and reduce the number of rejection letters you may be getting from film festivals? In 2019, I released the first version of my ebook, The Film Festival Submitter's Handbook, to help people understand how the film festival selection process works and help filmmakers strengthen their submission. Version 2 of the Film Festival Submitter's Handbook is now available as an ebook and an audiobook. Please purchase the bundle right now in order to download the PDF and audio file. The link is in the description. Good luck on the film festival circuit.